Good morning. Today is Monday. No, it's not Monday. It's Wednesday, November 20th. And it's dark in here because it's a dark and dreary day here in Vegas. It's been raining since last night and it's been raining this morning. You see it's wet out there. We haven't had any rain in a couple months, so it's a good thing to get the rain. And it's a little chilly out. It's like in the 60s. I think this weekend is going to be in the 50s. In next week. And I'm not ready to put the heat on. <laughs> so I haven't done it yet. I mean, I did for that first week. Or the last week of October. I did put the heat on for a little bit. But I haven't put it back on since. But anyway. I woke up around 7. Thanks to the phone, it rang, woke me up with a telemarketer. Well, it was not a telemarketer, it was a robocall. And I let the machine answer it, but I heard the message because some of the phones, you can hear the message, the people leaving a message. So, got up, took my thyroid med, and came in here in the office and checked my mail and stuff. And later I erased the message and made breakfast. I had eggs and yogurt. Well, the yogurt was not in the eggs. I had scrambled eggs and a thing of yogurt with granola on top. Then I edited um, a vlog from Monday. And that's up on YouTube right now. And then I did edit the one from yesterday, Tuesday, but I decided not to upload that and delete it. So, and then I got my phone ring on my um, iPhone, and instead of having the number, it's had it said telemarketer. Well, I wouldn't have answered it anyway because it didn't know the number. But you know. Then seeing that, I really didn't answer the phone. And what else? I think. Oh, and then I started cleaning the bedroom, the master. I just dusted, um, you know, the and the nightstands, the dresser, and the dresser here. My back was screaming at me. By the time I was done, um, took the, my mom had a hat, a big floppy hat, took that, and she had a um, Kansas City Chiefs blanket, took that, and she had a sweater, and took that stuff, put it in the closet, and um, there was a, a clock. It was my old clock from my room that I put here, but I just took it down, and I'm going to put it in the garage, or no. I'm going to donate it to Goodwill or somewhere. And like I said, it's a little dark in here. So after I cleaned, I decided to, um, before sitting down to rest my back, I decided to take my Discover bill that I wrote and mail it at the mailbox, the community mailbox. And so I did that. I came back. And I finally decided to use my mom's CBD oil, I'm not, well not oil, CBD relief cream for my back because it is supposedly arthritic, my lower back. So I put some on and while putting it on, I noticed the pain wasn't starting to be not as bad. It was still there and it was a little, still a little sore but not, you know, not as painful, and sat down on the, you know, at the desk, and, you know, start, it was okay, my back, and I don't know if it's in my head that it's okay, it was getting better, or if it, the cream really worked. I'm standing here now walking and talking, and, well, of course I'm talking about walking around, and it's okay, but I, you know, it's still sore. So I'm not completely sold on the CBD 
cream. It worked on my mom for her um, arthritis on her knee. So, so we'll see. And today, I'll probably be cleaning on and off depending how I feel. <laughs> if I'm la you know, if I'm lazy enough, lazy or not lazy enough to do more cleaning up in the second. Well, it's not really a level, but, you know, because it's only one step. Um, I cleaned the bathrooms. I brought the mop up so I can mop. Um, I haven't really swept. I brought the rumba up here to do it again. But I got to mop the floors. I definitely have to do it downstairs. But um, I have to dust this room. This room's a mess. <laughs> I have the dust in here. I still want to put frame, put diamond paintings in these frames. I don't know which ones because I want them. I want all of them framed, so I don't know which ones. And um, obviously dust. And I gotta take all this stuff down. Ugh. <laughs> and dust. At least it's it's a little bit less stuff on here than it was before as I moved into the master and I know my ongoing project is to empty this room as much as I can obviously I can't move the filing cabinet or the desk or the computer but you know when I empty the desk and stuff it, maybe take some of this stuff in here down and put it either in my old bedroom, like in the closet and stuff, or put it in the master bedroom in the closet. Or in the garage. I don't know yet. So that's the plan for today. Staying home, staying dry, watching TV. Netflix, Disney Plus. Um, I've been watching on Netflix on and off for the last couple of days. Um, the Crown. I started watching it Monday, I think. I watched two episodes Monday and two episodes yesterday. It's really good. And I'll probably watch some more today besides Disney Plus. <laughs> it's Disney Plus is interesting. Um, like I said, I've I don't know if I said it on the vlog. I know I said it on a Facebook group. I've seen, been watching movies I haven't seen in a long time or movies i never seen, like Dumbo or Bambi, Tasia. I mean, I've seen clips, like, on Disney Channel back in the day when they showed clips or um, Wonderful World of Disney, you know, stuff like that. I've seen clips. I don't remember seeing the whole movie, so I know I never saw Bambi. I've seen clips, and I know I never seen Dumbo. But I've seen like clips from you know him flying and all that stuff. But so yeah, the one thing I wish—I think I said that too on the Facebook group. I wish there was more extras. Like I know some on the DVD. Well, they probably want you to buy the DVDs, but at some of the DVDs, there's like little documentaries on the movies. Because I know um, Cinderella, not Cinderella, Snow White on Disney Plus had a little documentary on making it. Because it was the first movie, anime movie. And then I think since then, um, there's been like deleted scenes from the movies and of course the trailers and um, I think that's about it. I think there'll be more extra stuff because I know um, looking at Robin Hood I don't think there was a documentary on it. I have the DVD on that so I know there's there was a lot of dele bleh, deleted scenes with that um, not remembering a documentary I also have Peter Pan, and I haven't really looked at the DVD on that, but I know there's, like, 
a Disney Plus, there's like the deleted scenes. I don't know if there's a documentary on the DVD or not. I have to look at that. So, and I also wish I haven't looked at too many of the live action movies, like the newer stuff. But I'm kind of hoping they will have outtakes on those movies. And I've been rambling enough right now, so I'm going to end it here and see you guys later, maybe. So I'm back, and I got two texts like an hour ago, or a half hour ago. One of them is from somebody that I'm going to dinner with, or lunch with, Thanksgiving. He was, They were just letting me know how much the buffet was going to be. And I already knew that, um, because I looked it up, who we were talking about going like a couple weeks ago so um like back a couple weeks ago um one of the people in our group she was trying to find people who are going to be who are going to be by themselves on the holiday you know no family or anything you know get them together and go to a buffet or, any, or something and I think there's only like two of us going and so, and I knew how much it was going to be, so I set money aside. So I told him, I know, it's fine. Um, and, but I think from listening to, you know, people, uh, I think she took the stranglers who don't have anybody for Thanksgiving. So that's what I'm figuring. I don't know. And who knows about Christmas, but. Anyway, so there's that. And then I got another text from the one, the substitute who's taking over for the three weeks that they're on vacation about organizing lunches and stuff. And he, te he sent the text, and I'm looking at the text, and I laugh. And I'm like, it's for the buffet at Rampart, the brunch. And I'm like, I was just there. I was there Sunday. So, of course, I said yes. Um, I do have another coupon. You know, two for one or 50% off one for one person. So, I said yes. More lax and bagel. <laughs> More shrimp. Um, that coupon, the one I used Sunday, it was good till November 22nd. So, Saturday. And then the next the one that I have, the other one, is good from the 23rd through, I forget when, maybe the end of the month. I'm not 100% sure. You still can't use it for Thanksgiving, but anyway. So there's that. So I said yes to that so I can use the coupon. And uh, yeah, that's about it. The meeting on Tuesday, it went, eh. There was arguing because <laughs> mostly from the former president on the board he had to leave due to health reasons but he definitely gave um, his thoughts on it from what I gather what what he said um, when they well not when they first put the HOA together the fee but um, the reserves with the fee part of that fee was for the 50 of it was for reserves and now I get from <coughs> excuse me gathering from listening to the meeting yesterday that fifty dollars is now null and part of the fee of the HOA and then they're adding another fifty dollars to the HOA making it um, and that fifty dollars would be for the reserves she, the woman that's assigned to us, I think she was confused a little bit, trying to make us understand. Um, we were confused a little bit, trying to make her understand. I just kept my mouth shut, but um, I was really hoping that fifty dollars would go away. And, um, and that's plus the fifty dollars for the reserves plus a thirty dollar raise. Now I knew that thirty dollar raise was going to be from the board meeting. But that fifty dollars reading that, like I said in a previous vlog, I cried that day um, when I read that. It was just devastating. And now I know I'm not the only one who, well, probably not cry, but it was that was you know 
was upset about that news because I know there's a lot, he even said um, at the meeting, there's a lot of new people that came here, just came here, and seeing that was like, what? Because <laughs> um, one of the new people that came in like two months ago, he came and was trying to understand about it, but he had to leave because you know, they have two little kids and his wife had to go to work. So, it was not a good meeting. I don't think anything was, re well, the budget was passed. I don't know how. And you'd think there would be a lot more people at the meeting yesterday. Because, you know, it wasn't a board meeting, but it was an important meeting. It had to do with the budget, the HOA fee. But there wasn't a lot of people. <laughs> so, I think that's why it got passed. I don't know. But um, after the meeting, um, there was a woman next to me, sitting next to me, and it was brought up at the meeting that her husband, at every meeting, would ask about that $50 that, that was originally set in the price of the fee. And um, he, <laughs> that was, you know, and supposedly there's like a historical thing. If it was available, they deal with it. I don't know. But he said that at the meeting there was he got calls from two people who the original people who lived in this complex when it first got built called them asking about it, asking why we get in charge another fifty dollars <laughs> or actually get charged a hundred dollars for the reservation or not reservation reserve fee instead of the fifty. And um, after the meeting he talked to her. The one that was sitting next to me about it, see if she could find the notes, because I think she said that he's, you know, all the notes are saved in the office, but the office is a mess, and, because that will be sort of historical notes, I don't, something historical, I don't know. But then he asked how I was doing, and I'm like, okay, and I told him, I was like, when I read it, I was devastated, I was crying. Um, I knew about the 30, we all knew about the 30. And I was fine with that. It's just the extra 50. And it's like, I gotta eat. <laughs> and maybe, you know, buy something like clothes or shoes or glasses. Get a haircut or something like that. And I don't know what. I don't know what's going to happen. I'm, I'm, I know it'll be okay. <laughs> but it's still aggravating. So that's what's going on. And I'm going to end it here and see you guys later.